Okay, as I was saying, thank you for coming. Uh, I think we are already a bunch of people. Um, so the purpose of this uh, webinar is focused mainly on what we have been announcing, which is the the launch of our processing cattle shoot uh, feature, which is a big deal for us, but we have also a little bit more than that uh, that we want to share with you today. Okay, there we go. Uh, so again, um, schedule for today, agenda for today is uh, two things. Uh, the one, like the one is the first one is the is a, is something that we haven't talked enough about, and it's not even the the core purpose of this update today. But since we are launching it to tonight, I think uh, we thought that it was worthwhile to mention it. Uh, the other one is the one that we have been working through some time, which is the processing shoot, cattle processing shoot. There's 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 been some doubts there about how to name this, um, but and and we are, we are more than well happy to also uh, always get your feedback on this. But uh, for now, it's called pro uh, cattle processing shoot or or uh, shoot. Uh, but first and foremost, we wanted to remind you, like I don't. I, you might have you might remember for la, from last uh, from last webinar that we did two announcements. One was the uh, Elanco benchmark program that uh, Carlos was uh, joining the Elanco management program on paper, and of course we we announced that and and we are still working on that because it's such a like a big package that we're working for uh, making it like being able to offer. It. But the other thing that we uh, announced that day was the, this the partnership with the insurance company Stockgard, and the the purpose of this partnership was to set the first example of how we can synergize with other companies to provide other products other than this on the, other than the app itself, so that farmers can access to these to these tools in the context of their management with Cadler. So today we are launching the first product in partnership with Stockard, which is which is a way to contract their LRP, their livestock risk protection. Uh, we're soon going to deploy also the livestock gross margin and probably down the road other products. This is something that you will see now. And the way to access to this, I wanted to give you a hint of how this is going to look like. Tonight, you see that there's an update tonight. Is that every time you go to your to any of your lots in the cattle inventory section, and you and you go to the plan, the lot plan, you will see now that there's this legend that says secure the price of your lot with one click, and check the offer, and you will be able once you fill in those requirements with regard to the days and weight gain and expected end weight and date, uh, you will be able to check automatic offer that will come from 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 Stockard, which looks like this. So you will be able to pick the coverage and whenever you type on the uh, option that we you, you want, you type on the order button and that will take you directly to the web page where they will have like pre-filled uh, information. So your that information, like basic, very basic information, only travels if you order that. Otherwise, it doesn't. And um, in that case, they will create an account so that you can uh, hire that contract. So this is something that we are like uh, beginning to test. It's the first time that we do something like this in partnership with other company that provides a product that's that dif that's different at, at Cutler, and we really. And I hope you give you, you know, if you can give us your feedback, it will be great. And for us, it's kind of the first step to provide a wider family of uh, synergic products that might make sense for your operation. So this is one of the uh, news that we have heard today. Uh, the other news, of course, is the launch of the 
title processing should. Um, and, uh, and this is a big deal for us because this is something that we have been craving to launch for more than one year. Uh, and since we it took us some time to build and uh, and and we and, and and perfect and improve all the feeding side of that, and we continue to do so. Uh, and then we had the animal health thing, and then we had the pen writer feature. So there was a lot of things and and other things that re that related to thing to the features that you already have on the app that kept adding to the requests. So it like that make it made us take more time in launching this. Uh, we were planning in launch in launching this like about about six months ago, and and we got delaying also because we were launching other important stuff like all all the things related to animal health. So this is kind of the way in which we close the loop with some of the main sections that involve connecting to local devices. In this case, we're talking about connecting to scales or scale heads, connecting to EIDs, connecting to uh, in like not now, but in a, in the near future with smart syringes for like, uh, like when, 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 when you have providers that are working with syringes that you cannot control and you can connect to the shoot. So it's everything about how we make all this process lighter and also for the sorting part, being able to connect to automation uh, devices, like for example, automating the sorting gates. So this is a big deal. And this is a very, like, as you know, much more than, than us, this is one of the big sites where things happen at, at a farm, at a cattle farm, not only a feeder farm, but just we are talking here about any cattle farm. And just to give you a, a hint of how we thought about developing this, because it gives you an idea of how the system works when you're using it, is we knew that at every shoot, there's always a combination of the, several things happening one of and they, it could be just one it could be just the, the four of those just a mixture there's there's different combination of things because there's people that do different things in the shoot in the processing barn and we had to prepare something that is able to perform any of any combination of this stuff so identification either just reading an id or 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 assigning a new id or assigning a new gender to a lot that has a, like an average, like in general, these are all animals that are heifers, heifers, and then we need to change that, like things that I need to verify uh, or change or add, uh, like breed and gender or, or EADs or visual tags. And we were talking about EADs where it can be high frequency, low frequency, there's a ton of things that are regard that are happening regarding identification, that are happening also simultaneously to weighing cattle. Sometimes people will process cattle and treat cattle without weighing. Sometimes people will weigh because they're just there, and they will control the, their dose based on the weight. Uh, there will be people that will just treat cattle with, regardless of the weight or just using the average weight, um, for good or for bad. And we're just allowing a, a, a like creating a machine that takes all your data in real time processes and syncs information together and enables you to do what you what you wanted to do in the most uh in the best possible uh way in the, with the most possible best possible flexibility so third thing of course and and i would say in the us is the main reason why people go to shoot is treating cattle um sometimes that treating treatment is is been programmed before in the animal section so i knew beforehand that there was a there was a a, a lot of uh, animals that have to be treated with certain protocol blah 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 sometimes it is not programmed i don't know something happened and and i, I need to for cattle to show up in the processing at uh, the processing barn and just process them Sometimes it's a combination of those because I'm processing 
a, a program treatment, but then all of a sudden I see some animal that needs an added X, Y, or Z, and I just add it. So, uh, and I do this at the same time that I'm, I'm identifying and there's people that are doing like two or three things at the same time. And then also at, this, at the end, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, I sort. Uh, and, and this is something that could happen in the, in the, in the processing bar or before the processing bar, right out of the, out of the truck. So one of the main things about should is that this should be adapted to not only to the processing bar, but also to other situations where I might be reading cattle and loading or unloading from the truck. So it's it's a very complex uh, uh, situation and, and, and thus therefore uh, also a, a feature, complex feature, that has a lot of things that happen in real time. Some people will do first one thing and then the other. Some people will do all simultaneously. Some people will do like identification, like three in a row, and then uh, uh, identifying one of, one at a time. So there's a lot of stuff. Uh, with regards to sorting, we conceive the idea, like the, the possibility that you do it manually. Of course, that's most of cases. Uh, manually also involves using like hydraulic systems that you action like that with a button, but it's manual uh, or automatic. And, and it has to have many different criteria uh, by weight, by roundness, which is like sometimes it's the eye, sometimes it's a camera, uh, by gender, by breed, by commercial end. So there's also, again, here a ton of different variables that we have to put all and give you options to do uh, in sync with other things that you might be doing or not doing. So that's how we thought about it. And that's how it looks. Uh, so the way we have <clears throat> deployed this is you have a home. This is a section, right? You have it on the left. This is one of the icons that you have there. Of course, most of you guys don't have it yet uh, enabled. So you can ask us, and, and we're doing the same that, as we did in, in Animal Health. We, for, for a certain amount of time, we uh, um, enable it for free for all the people that, is, that are asking for it, for it. And we receive feedback and we improve based on that. We have already done this, like we uh, already would should. Uh, with some uh, uh, couple of testers that gave us like feedback right, 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 right on, um, right at the beginning. Um, so this is this already has certain iterations. So back to the point, this is the home for this section called shoot, and what you find in the home is the some tabs. Uh, this looks like a load and drop order page in the feed out of the feeding section where you have shoot orders instead of load and drop orders. And uh, you can, and then you have other tabs. You have another tab that we haven't yet enabled, which is a processing log. It is kind of the same thing as the feeding log in the feeding section. So where you will see all the, all the uh, sessions that have been already performed and you can go and tap into the summary of that. You have a button for manual. So this is, it's still not enabled. Uh, and, and I'm just open parentheses because sometimes this is such a complex feature that we are like deploying it in a, in a, in cascade. So like a first version and in two weeks, another version and we, and we go adding stuff because we, we need to be careful uh, of, of how that we're not creating a mess. Uh, so that's why we are like, like, like spreading layers of it as, and, and, and also improving it as we get feedback from, from users, from, from, from members. Um, so there's a manual button that will take you directly to the black screen for whenever you don't have a processing uh, order. There's not a program, there's nothing. We're just showing up with, one or more animals and you just want, want to I don't know, weigh them perhaps, like the random stuff that you might need to do. And then there's a new order button, which is 
I'll show you how it works. Uh, so that's how you create a new order, like a shoot order. Uh, you might not need to treat them. Right? You might need just to weigh them and identify them. And so you create a new order. And all, all, the, all this list uh, of uh, all these rows are orders that we have created already. Some of those are uh, already executed. So they're, they're disabled for the day and they will be disabled by next day. Some of those are ready to start. So you can check the order. Uh, what's the order like? What's the content? Just by tapping on any part of the white, uh, of the white part of the row. And you can go to the black screen, tapping in the green bu start button. This in the same way you do it on feeding when you're taking a load and drop order. So when you tap into any of these green buttons, like the ones with star buttons, what you will see, sorry, uh, if I uh, before that, if you tap in the white part um, or in the new order, if you're just creating a new one, you will see this screen where you will define, okay, what is the lot I'm we're going to work with, lot or subset of like different lots. I can process more than one lot or sub lot. Um, you have all the tasks that are that are available. If you have assigned, and this is very important, if you have assigned previously a treatment in animal health for this the lot that you're picking now, this will the the health treatment thing will auto populate with the treatment that you had specified. Otherwise, uh, in this version, you won't be able to treat. And in the in a quick next version, you will be able to do just only random treatment, just picking a protocol or a treat or a product right there. Uh, Waging doesn't have any specification. Uh, when you tap into identify, uh, when you tap into identification, you will pick between assign treatment or read, read, or read tag, sorry, assign tag or read tag. So, <laughs> so um, let's say that you have a new lot that doesn't have any identification. You put assign tag and you will be able to put the, for the first time, sing uh, uh, assign tags to all the animals that are coming on, on, the, sh on, the, on the shoot, to the shoot. Um, so let's say that, and then on sorting, you tap into that and you will be able to define, I don't know, if you're sorting or not, it, what's, what are the pens that you want to go send them? Uh, if you're sorting, what is the criteria and the ranges if you're using it by weight and the gates? So if you tap into start, you face this black screen. And, and the idea is that Every time I have uh, the black screen here, I'm just facing one animal. So if I have, if I'm connected to a scale, if you're going to be connected to a scale, the scale, depending on what's the scale head and there, there's variety to, there's there are certain scale heads that give you the frozen weight already. So we just suck that information if we put it here and we freeze it there's 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 uh there's certain scale heads that people prefer just to let it flow and freeze it themselves so we'll give you an option with that so you will see this flowing and then it will freeze automatically or you can freeze it yourself um if you have a and ead handheld or antenna that will and you are on a sign mode or in reader mode, uh, that will auto populate your EID tag. And if you, if you, for example, you're with a new lot and all the lot is like announced, uh, you create a new lot and the lot were heifers, Angus heifers, but I don't know, animals come to the shoot and all of a sudden, I don't know, one, uh, one calf 
shows up or one steer shows up in a in a in a lot of uh, heifers you can change that at the, at the moment and then and just keep going so the idea is that everything that, that is automatable it just shows up and then once i'm finished with this animal i just type uh, tap into the arrow on the right and I just continue the order of animals. They can show, they can show up in any order. Doesn't matter if they have like if they are. If you were with a, processing a lot that already had, um, I don't know, numbers, and the numbers are not in order, it doesn't matter. This is the order just of appearance. Nothing more than that. But it just gives you an a gives you a sense that you're processing one cattle, one animal after one animal. You might be working with EIDs. You might be working with with visual tags. You might be working with both. We might be work. You might be working with none of those. Uh, you just do to the extent that you have to do, and you just move on. Let me let me show you now how it works in reality. Actually, we have a question. Uh, that yeah. I put I got directly. Uh, that was um, if the shoot side will work uh, offline, uh, like the rest of the app. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that one of like the shoot is a place where there's a. It is more likely that you don't have internet than when you're feeding many times, uh, especially when you were talking about the rangeland operations. They might have the shoot. I don't know out there. At some place, so it is critical that you have a offline mode. Uh, of course, you won't have all the same features if you are with a tablet or a. Uh, well, we don't have a, yet a version for cell phone, but we we will have. Um, if you're with a tablet there, and and let's say that there's no internet, and sometimes we cannot have like on the tablet downloaded all the information from all the individual animals from uh, 500 uh, 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 animals from that lot. So that will make the app be very, very slow. Uh, so what we do when it's offline, we might, uh, of course, store part of the information and then you can work completely offline and then it, it, it remains in a queue. And at some point, it gets up, up, um, uploaded the same way we do we do with the feeding part. Does it make sense? Yeah. Um, uh, let me go to. I want to show you how this looks like. In reality. So we are here on a, with a, of course, it is a demo user, demo account. Um, let me, okay. We have certain orders. These are all done. Let's create a new order again here. One one other thing is that that we to keep in mind is that now since the shoot will probably in most of case of cases will have a a a scale. We need to set up the scale in the feeder infrastructure section the same way we 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 have it on the feeding section. So that also creates a new setting, which is creating a new shoot link to a link to one of our boxes. This is for when you are connected to a, a, a scale. You can completely do it manually. And this would be especially important for farmers that are using like they don't have even a electronic scale. They just have one of the old ones 
uh, or their or, or their analysis. It's very old. In this case, it is very old. They just don't want to do it, and just uh, they don't want to put the value. So you can do it manually. But other than that situation, you will probably need a need a need a box, uh, depending on on what's your scale head. And um, there's there's a case of one scale head where we when where you where you don't even need the box, um, but in general you will need that, and uh, and and then you will probably have to set it up, and then you you define a should we have here three shoots defined, uh, so let's say we're gonna pick this should. This is a very like unlikely case. People don't have like, they might have one or two at the most shoots. So this is something that will be very unlikely. Other than that, you will have it like pre pre selected for the the only shoot that you have. And we are picking now uh, sublots. I can pick one or I can pick two or more uh, sublots to process. I'm gonna pick a small one. Then I confirm. <clears throat> so in identification, I have these two modes for now. It doesn't matter if you're using EID or you're using visual tags or you're using both. What matters is the is the mode. I'm going to read or I'm going to assign new ones. Um, this is optional. All this is optional. You may have, I don't know, you might want to, uh, what am I missing here? Oh, I, and I have some process types. So this is something that we are eager for you to give us some feedback on because to the extent that these processes are already, I don't know, common, we are trying to standardize it and instead of you having to type in stuff, just I don't know, picking one and this is an incoming lab. Uh, And that helps us also establish I don't know, more like more like order or order processes. Um, and if you don't want to, I don't know, if you want to go back here. So you have just finished with identification. Waking doesn't have anything to specify. Health treatment will appear automatically if I have something that's been already uh, defined in the animal health section. I can pick, this is where I was saying, I can pick by average weight or by individual weight, the dosages. Dosages with double S, is it, that's a mistake. Um, so the system will only give me the, will adjust the dose in this option once it gets the weight. I can do it both ways. And then the sorting, so by default, there's no sorting. So I'm just defining. If I, and also by default for now is manual. We have a product, a side product that is an automated uh, sorting system. So we, like in the future, we might make, uh, make it join to the platform as an option, as an add-on. And uh, if I pick, Sorting, I can, I don't know, one of the options that we have now is by weight. So I now I have like different gates. I, I can I don't know, put different gates and I and I pick the range of, I don't know. And that's it, and off I go. So that will make, that leaves it all defined there. I confirm, so I have this. So I don't need to prepare it right, right all this right there. I can prepare it 
uh, I can prepare it on the on the fly, uh, or be like or before. So now this is not allowing me to, of course, to execute it because I'm on the laptop. So in the same way that happens with the uh, with the with the feeding section, uh, I'm not allowed to execute an, a shoot order from my desktop. I can only do it today from the uh, from the tablet, and in the future also from the cell phone. Let me see if I can join here. In the meantime, something too, worth noticing is that, you know, we can still connect to any scale head out there. Uh, that being said, you know, the points, the Avery's, also the true test is one of the new ones that comes into effect. And um, which are kind of mainly the the most used uh, scale heads for the shoot side. And if there are any others, uh, please let us know so we start working on them. But we what we've seen in our studies is, uh, you know, Avery Waitronics, uh, together with the true test, uh, as well as point are the three main ones that we will, that most of our, that most of people have seen, uh, have right now. So, um, that is something to always keep in mind, uh, that we can still read from any scale head and that kind of uh, streamlines the whole situation. Recording in progress. I'm muting myself and I'm going to share content. Okay. There you go. So I'm here. I, I already have this order that I just created. And I'm going to tap into start. And all of a sudden, I have the screen, the operational screen. I, type, I can type in the temperature of this animal that is showing up now. I can scan the AEID, so it will it will automatically populate. If doesn't I don't know, something doesn't work, I can type it in here. I can also if you if I want add a a visual tag or not. I can change any of these. In this version, I'm for the purpose of this, I'm going to do it manually, the weight. And by default, it's giving me gate three. I can also change it on the at the in the moment, but it's that's that's the gate that is giving me to go. So I type I I go into the next one. And just continue all the way to the end. At any moment, I can just uh, stop, even in the middle of the process, and I, I don't know, have to move away and then, then come back. Or I can just finish. Uh, and that's it. One of the things that is not here there yet is the summary at the end of, of the session that will, will come very soon. And, of, and as I said before, the process in law. That's pretty much it. And, and it's a big deal for us. And and I think you will you'll find it interesting. We are we are doing more changes these days 
is to make it to cover many many situations where you might need to, to change stuff or treat animals in way, way one way or other um, but it should be easy and quick let me know what you think and uh, if you have any questions Nacho, there are some questions in the in the chat. Okay. Cost student monthly cost. So if you go to the web page of Cutler, you will see that in um, uh, in. Let me show you here. Oh. Yeah. Being, being able to okay but basically if you if you use should stand alone it costs 50 bucks per month if you're already using feeding and you add that it's just half that value if you're using animal that and animal health it goes all to 175 like not feeding 90 bucks if you add Animal health, if you ask more, and if you add a uh, shoot, is 25 bucks all the package with all what we have today. So at the end, you will be, uh, you will be spending one one seventy five for having feeding plus animal health plus um, pen writing app plus shoot. Let me show you just a minute. Yeah, I know I cannot I cannot I cannot do it right now. Okay, can now if you go to our web page in plans and prices or going to get started, you see this here. You have the bundles, feeding plus animal health 140 per month, plus animal health plus shoot 175. If you just do it standalone, it, this is the price of each uh, module. So I think it's still significantly cheaper than other softwares. Uh, well, and yeah, and with regards to the to the cost to install, it's just the cost of the module, the the, the box, Catalog link box, and cable. It's the same cost as uh, the ones that we have for feeding, which is six hundred and fifty. It can can be visual tag via color versus a number. Yes, you can put a letter. Um, yeah. You can put a letter, and and that will be like mean a a, a for for the initial of the of the color. We have an only going to scale head which compatible with this system. Yeah. Probably yes. I'm not sure about Gallagher's. It is the one that we have like checked yeah. the, la yeah. the list. That like yes. Make uh, Ryan or the rest of the guys or Santiago or, or Sam to contact you, and we can check it out because I like right right of my right of my head. I I don't I don't remember which one. It has to have a port, a serial port. One tie. If you guys are best buds anyway, you know. Okay. Uh, so if you don't have any more questions, I think we're done. I, we don't want to make it longer for you. Uh, we really, we're really excited about this. This will improve by the week, and I hope you like it uh, as much as we do. And we are all years for improvement. Thank you very much, everybody. We have more, one more question, Ignacio. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Okay, no. How many ways you can sort? Up to five, I think, so far.
Yeah, hey guys, have a great evening. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much.